All right, guys, welcome back. Episode three, including again the second building battle box. However, this one is, in my opinion, a treat, even though it's less packs, but it's an older box. Um, so, this bad boy, the Beware <laughs> GX box from, I'd have to say, at least mid 2017. Um, and what gives it away is that it has one pack of evolutions and of course Steam Siege. But again, most people really didn't like Steam Siege. I got back into collecting because of evolutions. Evolutions is basically why I went fully back into collecting. So without further ado, um, a little background, which was... This box, first of all, is all beat up. All beat up. Um, I don't know how it got this beat up, to be honest with you. But I bought these guys. There was like a massive stock in hand. I'm not sure why or how. Um, at Costco. And I'm pretty sure this was like literally the beginning of COVID. Like the beginning of the shutdown. There was a ton of them. And they were so cheap. And I just went crazy and I bought like at least 16 because it was it was this box. Then they had the, the Tapu Coco GX box, which I also have still sealed. Um, then you have also the. Um, oh, man, what's the other ones called? There were there were two uh, oh the Gengar EX box and the Gengar EX box, I believe, also had an evolutions pack. And there was a fourth one, a fourth variant. Um Either way, they had all four there, a ton of them. Went crazy, bought at least 12 or 16 boxes. I forget how many. Only $9 a piece back then. And now this box, be just because of Evolutions being in it, we're talking like a $30 box. Easy. Now, probably, actually, I think it's higher. And I'm only saying that because I've seen these packs now, the Evolutions packs. So I've seen them go as high as 20 22 just for the one pack. So this already has turned into a collector's box. Now, of course, collectors don't want this horrible condition. So I have three of these still sealed, including this one. So the other two are in much better condition, which is why I'm going to keep them the way they are. I'm going to keep them sealed. Since this one's so beat up, I figured let me treat you guys by opening this one. And hopefully we get something cool out of the evolutions pack. So, without further ado, let's get in there. Oh, wait, hold. First of all, let me flip it so you guys can pause and read there. Yeah, I mean, this box here, epic. Epic in so many ways for me. Um, and again, really, it comes down to evolutions. Evolutions is such an epic thing for me. As Jay Witz put it, blast from the past, just... Super nostalgic to open uh, Pokemon cards that look like the original um, base set. And, and they were just reprints. Reprints with the updated rules. It was totally worth it. Totally worth it. So there's our promo card. Beware GX. Sun and Moon. Look at that. Sun and Moon 34. Now we're like up to sun and moon, like 200 something. That's how many promos have come out since. Think about that. This was it right in the beginning of sun and moon. Um, and again, you could tell that because of the fact that the only sun and moon packs in here are two Guardians Rising. Somewhat of a popular set, not hugely popular, but still. Then you got Steam Siege and, of course, Evolutions. You know, ah, man, the collector in me doesn't even want to open this, but I'm going to do it for you guys. Here is the code card for the Beware GX box. So if you use this code, you get the Beware promo in the video game. Here is our jumbo. I'm going to slide this sucker out. Bear with me. I'm going to put him back there and just hope he doesn't slide because it's kind of curved. So I figured with some wind or something or gravity, 
he will slide down. Now, I'm going to do the most unpopular pack first. And again, this is, of course, totally opinionated. But from what I've seen with so many channels or just people opening and people I've spoken to and myself as well, this is one of the least favorite packs or sets out there. Um, so like Steve sees for X and Y and then Sun and Moon, in my opinion, Sun and Moon's version of Steam Siege was Crimson Invasion. And now Sword and Shield has a, its own version, again, in my opinion, which is Battle Styles. Which all I'm trying to say is that, in my opinion, those three sets were the least. Um, oh, I did the card call wrong. The code trick wrong. Sorry. Card trick wrong. My words are all over the place because I'm overly excited and anxious at the same time. So, um, in my opinion, those three sets, and I, I definitely was able to prove it with uh, Crimson Invasion, and I also kind of proved it with Battle Styles, is that, oh, hello, all right, a break, sweet, all right, I'll take it, um, so sorry, with, with the, uh, both with Battle Styles and Crimson Invasion. I never bought a, any booster box of Steam Siege, nor did I buy a case of them. But I bought cases of both Crimson Invasion and Battle Styles. And I can definitely tell you, again, just from my personal experience, that those were the cheapest booster boxes I ever bought in my life. Crimson Invasion really tastes the cake because at its, at its ultimate low... Um, I was buying booster boxes at $65 a piece and that never happened before. And I don't know if that'll ever happen again, because that is just a ridiculous steal. I mean, just do the math, 36 packs for 65 bucks and you're not even paying $2 a pack or almost. And of course the taxes, you probably are, but you hold those, like, of course, I, I bought, I, I feel like I bought 18, at least 18 Crimson Invasion boxes back then. And I have four left sealed, definitely four left in my collection. And I feel like that box, I haven't checked lately, but now since it's like four years old, that box, I would imagine even, a, even a, on a bad day is now worth $150. So I'm like, I almost got, you know, $100 more out of the box, if you want to put it that way. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. It, this pack feels so crisp, too. Like, I mean, it's so straight. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm bugging out. But it, it, it just feels so good to hold. And, I mean, it's like, this is what got me back. Because of a friend of mine, too. My, a friend of mine was like, hey, the reprinting base set. Thought you might want to see it, and he sent me the link to Jay Witz's video. By the way, Jay Witz, if you ever see me, how you doing? Big fan. Um, yeah, this this is the reason why I'm back in all the way. Oh man, here we go. A twenty dollar pack, just torn open. Oh boy, here's your code card. One, two, three. Here comes the nostalgia. That's also, by the way, why I love celebrations. Love celebrations. They they took evolutions and made it even better. There are so many reprint cards here, it's not even funny. Okay, here we go. Misty's Determination. Polyworld. I mean, just look at the old artworks. I love this. Drowsy. Magikarp. Electabuzz. Ratata, or Ratata, however you want to pronounce them, Growlithe, Weedle, and Venusaur EX. There it is. I have three um, Mega Venusaur EXs, all graded, and I got lucky. They all came out 10s. Um, I do have a Venusaur EX graded. I don't remember what it was, but I do not think it was a 10. But the Megas all came out 10s. This looks pretty solid, though. The centering is off a little. 
It's not that bad, actually. There's some curvature on the card. Um, Damage-wise, it looks, it looks solid, actually. So, so far, if you were keeping count in that box, that was two hits. Two hits in four packs. So, that's 50%. We're back on track. Now, time for the building battle box. Or kit, however you want to call it. Oh, so exciting. Evolutions. And again, celebrations as another one. Now, there, there's a box that if you guys have it, if you guys happen to have a collection of them or something, my million-dollar recommendation, keep it sealed. Because there's no way, unless Pokemon takes a complete collapse in the market, there's no way that that box right there that you're looking at, this box, there's no way that this box won't be worth money in the future. It's already selling for 75 80 and higher when retail used to be 50 bucks for it. Which, again, this doesn't sound like a big improvement, but it's going to go higher for sure. Because, again, it's a reprint of base. There it is. There's the other. Like it just, it just, I just interrupted myself because aside from Deoxys, this was the other um, pre-release card I was after. So there we go. I got one of the two that I wanted. Very happy there. So this is a great way to end the night. So far, we got our four packs here. I'm definitely going to open this because I need to sleeve that card. And just in case of you guys, let's see what's in the 40 card pack. It should, for the most part, be the same. I have seen some rare instances where it's different. It's a little different, not too different, but let's see. I'm just leaving it up. Give me a second. All right. Here we go. Sean Bruno, Energy, Latios again, Latias again. The three people. This is just, well, okay, this is definitely different because these were not in the other one and neither were all these. I had energies, but I feel like it wasn't that many energies. All right, and there's uh, another code card for the battle box. Cool. So, super happy. Again, my recommendation, keep celebrations sealed. You'll be glad you did. Because as for me, I only have two loose boxes like this. So I'm going to open one for the channel, for sure. Um, the other one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, however, I have an entire case of them, and the case of trainer boxes is 10. 10 in the sealed factory case. And um, I I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep them like closed forever because I just don't see them going down. I see them going up. But let's see. I could always be wrong, but I'm very confident about that particular set. Shumish, Klefki, Totodow, Trubbish, Klefki again, Bramble. Just like, for example, I see the next set, Crown Zenith, because another buddy of mine, um, oops, sorry, um, he showed me, he goes, he goes, dude, look at the artwork. Like, it's going to be crazy. And also, it's going to be a historic set, so to speak. First, the artwork in the set is awesome, from what I've seen so far. Um, plus, the Pokemon Center is coming out with what they, what they call a, an Elite Trainer Box Plus. So, it's they're still selling these, but now the Pokemon Center is making one that's slightly bigger and has a little extra stuff in it. So... Both of those, in my opinion, will be worth money in the future. And again, the reason why it's historic at this point is because as of right now, from what the announcements have been made, it is going to be the last set where the cards look like this with the yellow border and as is here. If you guys have not seen the announcements yet, the this, this set after that, which is the violet and scarlet or however you call them, because I do not pay attention to the video games, even though I probably should. Um, but basically, they're being named after the video games. And therefore, which I believe is Scarlet and Violet, um, that new set 
the cards look more like their Japanese counterparts. So now the U.S. cards are going to look the same. So in my opinion, because this will be the last set that looks like this, the, the back might be different too because the Japanese back is also different. At one point, the Americans changed the back to the Japanese back they felt it wasn't working out, so they went back to the original American backing, which was this. This has been the backing since 99. But at one point in the early, mid-2000s, they did switch the backing. And then for some reason, they came back to the original. So they might switch the backing, too. That I did not see in the announcement, but maybe somebody did. And if you want to post it or confirm it or something and post a link to an article, by all means, share the news. So that everybody knows quicker, including myself. There we go. All right. We're down to our last fusion strike. And that will be it for this holiday week. But other than that, I hope you guys had a great time. I know I did. And then maybe next week, we will do the two boxes that you see before you to celebrate a new upcoming year. We will do the celebrations. And then I'll think of some corny lines to say that we're looking up at the stars for our future with the RCSV star box. Look at that. As soon as I tapped it, beware slid down. So there we go. So our final tally... We didn't get any hits in the battle box, except for our pre-release, which, again, very happy, because that's exactly one of the two that I wanted. The Oxus is the other one. And the reason why I want them is because, again, as a collector, in my opinion, I believe that this, down the line, because it's a pre-release card, will be worth money. And at the end of the day, I'm trying to pass this down to my child. So... We got the pre-release for the box, and we got we did very well, again, in my opinion, with the, excuse me, the Beware box itself, as we got, I would say, two hits. Some I've, I've seen some channels, and some people don't count breaks as a hit. I do, personally. I sold the... I think it was a Lugia break for at least $90. I mean, it was graded, to be fair. But, I mean, if you're selling a break for that much money, in my opinion, then that's a hit. So, I consider these hits. So, a hit and a hit. And, of course, Evolutions, which I love. Um, so, two hits, four packs, 50% rate there. Can't get better than that. It is, this was such a great week. Um, hope you guys had a great time. Uh, be safe, stay warm, enjoy the week, enjoy the holidays, enjoy hopefully the new year coming. Uh, thank you guys so, so much. Love you guys. Please share, please like, please subscribe, and have a good one.